So we're about one third into this. As you can see, good ash. Burns a little off, um, not too bad. Flavor notes wise, kind of some dark chocolate, um, a little leather. Other than that, I think my whiskey is overtaking the smoke. So we're gonna keep going. We'll check back in at the end of the second third and give you an update. All right, so we finish into the second third. Um, burn kind of evened itself out. Flavors are coming back through, um, so the whiskey didn't tame it. It's actually starting to come alive now. Still getting the chocolate notes. There's some nutty notes, um, a little peppery. Um, I won't say more red pepper than, or black pepper than red pepper. It's not spicy, but it's, you know it's there. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good stick. Um, the Kirkland um, seven year bourbon, which is 94 proof, it was like 60 bucks. Um, for a seven year old, I don't like it neat. It's okay on the rocks, it's okay as a mixer. Um, I just think there's a lot of better options out there for that price range. Um, really a great everyday drinker. Um, neat on the rocks mixed with his Buffalo Trace Elijah Craig small batch um, you want it just on the rocks an Angel's Envy um, some cast strength which I'm really into the higher proofs um, Maker's Mark cask is one of them that I have and then I have um, trying to think I think that's my highest proofed one and then I got a couple that are around that 100 range right now. We are going to be going with uh, Whiskey Tasting Fun. I'm going to be picking up a couple special bottles. Um, one's going to be going to Tony as a gift. Um, just because. Um, I think he'll get a kick out of it. Not sure if he's had it before. But I found it locally. And it seems kind of fitting for him. So we're going to pick that up. We're going to set up a day with Whiskey Tasting Fun to get up there. And go live for you guys. Um, there won't be any cigars. I promise that one. I'm pretty sure. So, but we will get together with them. We'll get some good whiskeys. I'll probably bring three or four to taste. Because my collection's growing. And, well, that's what we're about. So we're going to finish this up. We're going to pull the wrapper off. And I'll check in in probably another half hour or so as we finish this one up. All right. Back to last third, um, same flavors, getting a little more potent as we get down. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a good stick. Uh, if you haven't tried it, I'd get it. Um, my favorite, though, out of this lineup is the, I want to say, 454 spark plug. It's in a little green box. That is an amazing, amazing stick. About $8, good short smoke. We're going to finish this one up. We're going to call her a night and uh, finish up this Kirkland. The bottle's dead. It's in this cup. So I don't have to drink that one anymore. And then I'm going to try to figure out uh, what whiskeys I'm going to grab to bring up with uh, whiskey tasting fun with Tony and Jeff for... Uh, sampling got a couple in mind they're on the higher end um and then i got to figure out a gift bottle for jeffrey but tony's has already figured out we're gonna be picking that up next week saving that one for him and then we'll get the date set i'll let you know probably be back tomorrow morning with another cigar review um before the wife heads to work and i have the boy all night but other than that, you guys have a good night. We'll see you later.